Welcome! In this video, we'll introduce you to troubleshooting techniques for common issues everyday users have with Sauce Connect Proxy, using various flags with commands in the terminal when you start your tunnel. Sauce Connect provides a secure connection to your internal system for a secure way to test applications. However, a secure environment often requires extra configuration. If you see an error like this, it means that Sauce Connect Tunnel is unable to start or connect correctly. So we'll go over some troubleshooting tips to get things working. The first thing that we'll do is check that you're able to properly connect with both Sauce Labs and the application under test from your internal system. First, try pinging saucelabs.com to make sure that you're able to connect with the Sauce Labs domain. Next, you want to check your application under test in this case, a demo app called saucedemo.com, and ping that to make sure that you're also able to communicate. If you're unable to communicate properly with both Sauce Labs and your application under test, it means you need to speak with the administrator of your Sauce Labs account and your network or IT team to set your secure connection up correctly, which we can help you with. Some issues you may have is that your private network is not allowing you to access saucelabs.com, you need to allow your outbound traffic on port 443. You can try turning a VPN on or off, and you need to have access to the app you're testing. There may also be issues with the KGP protocol that's used with the Sauce Labs Sauce Connect traffic. The next thing you'll need to do is double check that your credentials are up to date. Go to user settings on your Sauce Labs platform, check your username and access key, then go in and make sure that you're starting your tunnel with the correct username and access key. Using the command at the bottom of the tunnels page means that your username and access key will be up to date. Another problem you may run into is tunnel collision, and this has to do with the PID file or process ID file. When a tunnel is created with a certain name, a process ID file is created using that name as well. If you try to start another tunnel with an identical name, it will fail since two process ID files of the same name cannot be created. If you've tried all of these troubleshooting techniques and you're still having trouble getting your Sauce Connect proxy tunnel up and running, we can help. Follow the instructions in the next lesson to print out a verbose log and find the location of that log file. Then go to support.saucelabs.com and contact Sauce Labs support where we can help you troubleshoot your Sauce Connect issues. Mm -hmm.